A former French modeling agent, essentially someone who is connected to Jeffrey Epstein, was found dead in his Paris jail cell in what appeared to be a suicide. 75 year old Jean Luc Burnell was found hanging in his cell at Le Santé, a prison in South Paris, according to a French official. Now, here is his picture. So, just in case you're not familiar with him, this is him. And you may be wondering how he's connected to Epstein. Well, per the New York Times, Brunel carved out a successful career as a modeling agent in France in the 1970s before expanding his portfolio to the United States where he met and befriended Epstein. The two often traveled together and socialized in the same circles before having a falling out as the sex trafficking accusations against Epstein emerged. Also, some similar charges came down against Brunel. Well, Brunel had been charged with raping minors over 15 and sexual harassment, and he was placed in pretrial detention in 2020. He was also under investigation for human trafficking of minors for sexual exploitation as part of a broader French inquiry into potential offenses committed in France in connection to the Epstein scandal. And some of Epstein's victims essentially called out Brunel. Uh, uh, essentially, at least one of Epstein's accusers has said that Brunel used his position as a modeling scout to procure minors for Epstein who owned an apartment in an upscale Parisian neighborhood and traveled regularly to France. In filings in a federal court in New York, Virginia Roberts Gouffre, who accused British royal Prince Andrew of raping her, said that Brunel would offer modeling jobs to girls, some as young as 12, and take them to the United States to farm them out to his friends, especially Epstein. And that was essentially the words of Thaisa Huseman, a former Dutch model who accused Brunel of drugging and raping her in Paris in 1991. But of course, a few people will take accountability for their behavior and not to say he's guilty, but he's dead now, so I don't have to worry about defamation. So I can note that his lawyers argue essentially that he was innocent. Yes, that's right, Brunel definitely maintained his innocence. And essentially, per the New York Times, his distress was that of a man of a 75 year old caught up in a media legal system that we should be questioning. Jean-Luc Brunel never stopped claiming his innocence and had made many efforts to prove it. His decision to end his life was not driven by guilt, but a deep sense of injustice. Jank. Is that what people do? Uh, I'm in the middle of fighting injustice. Ah, heck, I'll just end my life. Mm, you know, and being what wealthy, well to do, 75 years old. Mm. It's mm. not, no, no, no. It's not a normal pattern, let's put it that way. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but speaking of abnormal patterns, that's now the second person involved in the Epstein case, including Epstein, who hung themselves. For different bizarre reasons. Look, I don't know if this one has the same uh, absurd details that the Epstein so called suicide did, where uh, in Epstein's case, the guards happened to be taking a break, uh, the logs were all happened to be wrong, the video camera in the hallway happened to not be working. It's a lot of coincidences for a so called suicide. So I don't know if any of those exist here, but it is super weird. For a second person in prison over the you know these charges to have mysteriously committed suicide. Um, now, of course, um, the right wing is not going to leave it there. Uh, Adrian, uh, they're going to go uh, and and make allegations, right, or at least imply allegations. And then I want to come back to reality in a second. Yeah, no, I think they're absolutely going to imply various uh, allegations. But no, I think you're completely right. It's weird the fact that you know you had Epstein suddenly die, uh, and then now you have this 75 year old man suddenly die, and uh, especially since it's right on the heels of Prince Andrew coming to his settlement with Virginia Guffrey and doing so before discovery could actually occur. As in, no one's going to be talking about anybody or naming names uh, from the royal palace kind of thing, and it just makes you wonder, really, guys. Why, you know, a lot of people just kind of need to come forward and say what's up and be held accountable for it because feeding these suicides, I don't know, I'm a little tired with it. Yeah. And so, the, of course, the right wing did do what I'm uh, suggesting because Ted Cruz joked. I don't know if he was exact, actually joking. Uh, where was Hillary Clinton on the weekend where this guy uh, died? 
Um, well, you know, they love to joke around about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton wasn't involved in any of these things. Bill Clinton did go uh, to a couple of Epstein parties and go on the Lolita Express. But you know who else did? Donald J. Trump. And Donald J. Trump, being the idiot that he is, uh, of course, has a public confession. He said many years ago when him and Epstein were great, great friends, and there's tons of pictures of them uh, together, palling around, pointing at women. Uh, he uh, said that, oh, it said that Epstein likes women as much as I do, but he likes them very young. So Trump knew all along that Epstein was doing this. And so if you're Ted Cruz or any other Republican, and you're looking to pin this on Hillary Clinton, there's a lot of things Hillary Clinton did wrong. This ain't one of them. Uh, but the guy closest to Jeffrey Epstein and all those scandals was definitely Donald Trump. But it's funny how the right wing never ever mentions that. It's kind of like the or orange orangutan in the room, if you will. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.